hello everybody and welcome back thank you for joining me today is the day we will be finishing up level five of the Cormon demo and saying hello to Voltgar. i'm very excited to see if he has been changed any but first we need to do a little changes here i need to get digmal up to level 25 in preparation for Voltgar, I'm a little worried about his static, his static status. That's harder to say than you would think. His static status, but I don't know how many more trainers we have as we go through here. So I want to make sure that we have the necessary strength to fight Voltgar. So let's see what's in the chest. We got two Phoenix Stones. HP cake, sweet. Okay, cool. I'm liking that. Okay, the Phoenix Stones really don't help us much, but we'll just go from here. We do got this May here. Hey, let's battle for science. She has two, which worries me a little bit, but we'll see. We got like a level 25 swarming here. One of the things that I do notice is that the... The Cormon seem to evolve at a certain level. So you have to find a naturally occurring a Swarmy this level, or you would not be able to get a low level Swarmy and then level him up this far because he'll go ahead and switch over to a Beazel. So I'm a little fuzzy on that. I kind of wish because I believe in some other monster training games you have the option of them not evolving so i kind of am curious if that's a thing i've never seen that haven't dealt with it but i'm i'm a little curious how you can get such a high level swarmy because i've never seen one that high let's go for border barrage how is deadly so we got to be really careful hits his attack up quite a bit i'm kind of hoping for a knockdown or if he does that again i should be able to knock him straight out here oh i'm shocked of course it came in at the perfectly wrong time let's see if we can oh shade walker i'm a little worried about this that hits really hard but we got through it that should give us a lot of experience as well yeah, almost 2,000, which is great. I'm going to put this all in attack just to bump him up a little bit more in preparation for... Oh, I wonder if that should be in special attack. That's one thing that I don't understand, and I'm not sure if it makes it clear in the game which skills go for... Which skills use attack and which skills use special attack. I really wish it would know. I don't know if like only normal moves use attack and then all special non, I don't know the word for it, the anything that is a other than normal uses special attack. I don't know. That lets us in here, but we can't go down because we need G open. We can go over there. Oh, we can go out too. I'm not sure I want to go out. There is a trainer up there. Uh, there are a couple more trainers it looks like. Where is G? There's F. A, a I don't. I wonder if that's G up there, but we need to close H which is where's f did i miss f somewhere there's g oh so we need to go up there and close g it looks like what's up there a because we'll need to go down into i'm not sure how we're gonna close h and then go through H 
to get up there because this is also H. What? If, oh, there's another switch for H up that way. What do we need there? I can't tell. D, I think. Let's head. This is a little confusing here. I need to switch G. Let's switch G here and see what that's going to get us. I don't think that's going to get us really what we need. Because that'll let us go down into G, but we still need to open F. Where is... I don't see F anywhere, to be honest. There's I. Well... Have we not switched... G at all? Or we had to switch G to get it into here, or to get up into these conveyor belts. There's E. I don't want E. Let's go ahead and close that because I know I need that closed. He is down here. see it at, oh there's F right over there okay so we need to go down here I'm gonna flip both of these we'll probably need both of them flipped at some point see what's down here all by itself oh that's the way out I guess the other way was the way in okay so we could go out this must have been the way in and that way is the way out but I do want to get did we get these trainers already? I feel that we might have. I don't recall, to be honest. I'm pretty sure we got that one down by the A because the treasure chest is open. Did we get this one as well? Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's it then. We are off to Voltgar. I did not expect it to be that quickly. I was expecting a little bit more to this level than what we have already done. We basically, in the last episode, we pretty much took care of the level there. Okay, so we are going on to a vault car and seeing what we could do here. He is a little low. He doesn't have shock. He is 24 instead of 25, but I think we can manage here. I think we got this. I mean, I have beat him with a lot less here, so that is definitely good. What are you doing here? Please show me some identification. Sure, here you go. Ah, you're Stingray. Apologies, but you look nothing like Rigel described. You're here to collect some of Voltgar's essence, right? Well, you're almost there. Just one more elevator. Let me remind you of our checkpoint system. Okay. We already have our checkpoint system. We know that. Let's go and get... Well, that's kind of useful, I guess. As if you really needed to. Here it is. Here we go. We got a pretty good team here. I think the only one that's really going to be helpful in this battle is Digmaw, and we're just going to have to fight it out and heal him as much as we can. This has always been really cool having Voltgar up here with these big, large batteries, and the whole idea of Voltgar bringing the storms in so they could harness the electricity has always been really cool. What is this? Who are you to enter my domain? You dare challenge Voltgar, bender of storms? Wait, I come with good intentions. We will see about that human. You will find, you will fight my, I, I don't know. You stand against Voltgar. 
Hey, so 24 to 25, and that's the thing that's always been, his HP is 416 against my measly 69. That's pretty good, I guess. I'm a little worried, but okay. That stock, that shock right off the bat is going to be bad. Ooh, that's not good. It's, I wonder if I should use Boulder Barrage instead, have a chance to knock him down. Let's try that, see if it's doing any better. I mean, 40 points is still 40 points. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have to use a, I don't think that did. Oh, he got knocked down. That's good. Let's go again and do Boulder Barrage. Hopefully I could keep knocking him down. Still doing about 40 hits, 40 points of damage, which is good. I'm really worried. I probably should have healed up there. This is, oh, we're dead. Oh gosh. Woohoo! That was very close. No items. We need a very large HP cake. I got very worried there for a second. I knew I should have healed up there earlier. I still have, well, we're gonna have to rest here and we're gonna have to do another HP cake. Or I could maybe do a combi cake here. What about a large combi cake? 150 wow i don't think i need that quite that much let's do a medium combi cake that's gonna get some of my sp back surge punch doesn't sound good either i need to get a hit in here if i don't if i keep on healing and doing that it you're going nowhere in a battle chopped and couldn't move Oh, no, you know what? Shoot. Nope, I can't switch. I can. I'm thinking another combi cake. Since we have so many of them. It only refills 15, but I'm trying to also get my ace. SP up a little bit too as well That's really good that it only hit one time right there Come on, let's go we could do this surge punch man No gosh you're killing me man. I mean like maybe literally I mean almost every other move I'm gonna have to be filling him up with HP cakes and this is not what I was hoping for that shock really really slows you down come on boulder barrage oh yes that's gonna help us get some of his HP back he has 64 HP or er, 64 SP wow I've got to go again Come on, we gotta hit some, at some point. <laughs> really, we've gotta hit at some point. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I don't have any s status inflictions, so that's good. Whoa. That, the battle, I never seen that before. Difficult for your Cormon to move? That's not good. We're about half. Let's go ahead and hit up again. I'm already shocked <laughs> to, to keep me from moving is gonna be even worse. Then I have to heal like every other turn. Ah, this thing that hits three times. I hope nothing's critical so close. Oh. 
on. I couldn't move. Wow. Nope, I, I gotta keep him. There's nothing, no one else is going to be able to do the damage that Digmaw can do. That just, that's just hands down the truth. I mean, I could throw somebody in to take a hit, but they're not gonna do near as much damage as what Digmaw can do. Oh, what is that? That looks deadly. It pretty much was. Oh gosh, that not being very effective and knocks out most of my HP. Whew. Got knocked down, sweet. I get a free hit in here. Oh, should I take it? Or should I try to? Yeah, I was gonna say, he's gonna beat me here, I bet. This is it. Items, I don't think I can get this off. Does that happen immediately? Oh, I got lucky, woo! He restored his SP. If he was gonna hit me there, yeah. So your items are affected by your speed. And that's kind of what I was worried about. I should have done that when I knew he was knocked down. Uh, he was still unable to move because he rested last time. He didn't do an action. You have to do an action to get rid of that knockdown status, or try to anyways. That punch is just crazy. What do we got here? We got a few more of these. I'm kind of thinking another combi cake, but I don't think I need the SP. That's gonna be a little bit overkill, but it's better than the uh, small one not doing enough. Super punch, that super punch is just crazy. Wow, knocks out half my HP right there. Motor Barrage. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. Two hit points left. Items. Well, let's just go all out here and do a large combi cake. No, yeah, well. Let's do that. 40 should get me. Yeah, 40 is gonna be more than what I need anyways. All I need is one. There we go. We must have knocked him down again. Sweet. There we go. We beat Voltgar. Well, if I hit, I still got to hit him. I might get shocked. It might last a little bit longer. Shocked and couldn't move. Of course. Of course. I just don't have it in me to, to take a hit. I don't think I have a cake to clear. No. Uh, electric Wow, I didn't expect these to go down so quickly <laughs> Okay, HP cake. Let's go. I Got enough. I'm not really worried per se, but Recharging was a unable to move all I need to do is hit him one time One more time. That's it There we go, we got him Awesome. 4,000 experience from that fight. All by his lonesome. Go dig mall. Yeah. Is he going to get another? Oh, so close to that next potential. You have bested me, human. Now what? Why have you come here? I'm sorry, but I need some of your Titan essence. There we go. Hey, okay, so all we need to do, you dare take some of my Titan Essence, what do you plan to do with it? Someone like you cannot even begin to comprehend the power it holds. 
That's exactly what we want to find out, but don't worry. With Lux Solus, it is in good hands. Very well, do what you must, so will I. The Eye of the Storm must remain at Donor Island. I must recharge my energy before I can bend again. Valua counts on me. Yep. Oh. Okay, we beat him. That was a little bit more difficult than I expected, to be honest, but actually not too bad. Hello, Rigel, what's up? Hello, Stingray, it's good that I reached you. We finished analyzing the security footage and we discovered something problematic. Could you meet me and Nicola at the Buzzlet Lab? That sounds bad, I'll be there soon. Okay, see you there, shine bright. The Buzzlet Lab was... Where was the Buzzlet Lab? <laughs> I think outside of Luxol, no. No, it's on Donor Island. I wanna to go to floor one. That's kind of cool that it does that because, I mean, it is the elevator after all. You should be able to choose which level you want to go to. Let's see what Rigo has to say. I'm kind of interested in the story here and how it has changed and what he's going to have to say about that. Oh, it still tore up. There you are, Stingray. Please join our discussion. Good, everyone is here. I have something important to share. We had a closer look at the video footage and the conclusion we came to is unsettling. The energy those people used to abduct Thomas, my team verified it was actually Titan Essence. What? How? So they used something like Ghost Essence to abduct Thomas? No, they did not use Ghost Essence. The power they had didn't seem to cross over with any of the types currently known to Valua. So yeah, it's a new like seventh Titan that we didn't know about. It looks like there's an additional Titan in Valua. One who's existed had has looted us all. The lumen that tore up this lab must have the same type. Very likely we'll know more once we've captured it. Our battle researchers is closing in on the lumen as we speak. I've already managed to obtain Volgar's essence. I did. I knew you were up to the task. Gathering Titan essence may become more important than I initially imagined. The next destination for you will be the city of Paulberry, where my old friend Who is Hugh is waiting for your arrival. He will tell you about the ancient method to reach Il Ilugin? The Bender of Reality. That's kind of scary. I'm, I'll head back to Luxola's campus for now and continue my research. Stay strong, Nicola. We will find a way to get Thomas back. Thank you, sir. Shine bright, especially in these dark times. Before you head out, there's one more thing. You might have noticed that some of the holes in the lab have been repaired. Thus, I'm happy to announce that we're finally able to house some additional buzzlets. Okay. Since you're holding our only potential reading, potential reader, I would ask you a small favor. Could you capture some additional charging power for the lab? Four or so will do. I'm specifically looking for buzzlet with a potential value of 15 or higher. You can use the potential reader to check a core month's potential value. Okay, so it's kind of like a little bit of an in-game quest for you to do when you're done with the demo to keep you playing, it sounds like. Entering through the soggy swamp is no easy task. Make sure you wear comfortable boots. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. I received a phone message. 
What is going on with the phone? Hey there, we developed new features for our battle researchers drop by the campus trip for more information. Okay. So we can get a little bit more usage out of our gauntlet, it seems like, if we wanted to go on. But I think that's going to be the end of our episode and the end of our series here. I have played the demo of Cormon quite a few times as they've gone through and updated it. And I have been impressed each and every time. They've added new great features, a load of new and fun stuff to do. I love the randomization in here. And even from the beginning, the Nuzlocke settings by default or built in is really cool. I, I like that as well. I'll be continually watching the development in this. I'm not sure if anything new is coming out until they release the game. I have no insider information, but if they throw out another updated demo, I'll be sure to look at it and see what has changed. But for now, it'll be until the release. So I hope that you have enjoyed my coverage of Cormon. I've had a lot of fun playing it. And I hope you'll check out some of the other, other videos on the channel as well. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.